What's happening guys? Welcome in. Today I'm going to show you three fills that are most definitely going to work. So let's get to it. Welcome in guys, as always my name is Dave Major and I'm here to show you three really cool but really musical fills that are guaranteed to work in loads of musical situations. So now all these fills today are half bar fills which means they start on beat number three and end on the one obviously with a crash but sometimes you don't need to. Now half bar fills are pretty much the correct length you want to play in most songs because they're just long enough that they get your point across but not too long that you get in the way of everyone else. So the first fill we're going to deal with starts with four sixteenth notes. So that's going to be three E and A, followed by two eighth notes, which is going to be four and. Let me play it just on the snare drum so you get used to it, and then I'll start moving it around the drums. Rhythmically, it works. Because it's all singles, we've got a lot of scope for movement. It's going to work faster tempos, slower tempos. If you want to hear it in context, it's actually the intro fill to Midnight Train to Georgia, which is one of the best tunes in the world. Second fill today, we're going to have eight sixteenth notes. Nice and easy. Now we're going to do stick those first four, three E and A once more, all the singles, right, left, right, left on the snare. And then I'm going to do this walking down the drums motion which is super common, I mean it is one of the drum moves that you should know and that goes four, right hand, left up on the first tom, it's E and on the floor tom and then the A ah on the bass drum, so four E and A. Ah. So here's that fill on the drum kit, three E and A, ah, four E and A. Ah. Because it has a bass drum at the end, we're going to have to hit a crash on the one with another bass drum. So we're actually going to get this bo boom sound, 40 and uh oh, which I really like. I use that all the time. So here's it with the crash on the one and a bit of groove around it. Final fill today, we're going to jump into 16th note triplets. Now don't be scared, all we're doing is we're taking that quarter note that we feel really naturally and instead of dividing it into four for 16th notes, we're dividing it into six for 16th note triplets. Still going to go with the single sticking, so right, left, right, left, right, left. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start to put some accent points and give this fill a really nice flow. So if you want to use 16th note triplets, you don't always have to use them like da 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 or da 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 we can create some shapes in them and I actually love the, the extra notes you've got, the more space you've got to play with. So all we're going to do is we're going to play the same figure twice. So we've got three triplet and triplet, it's going to be exactly the same as four triplet and triplet. What we're going to do is we're going to play the first note loud, so that's an accent, so that's three, then a ghosted left, trip, and then let up here, so that's right, left, right, and then we're going to go left, right, ghosted, left hand accented. So we get a three trip, look, da 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 doom, ba da doom, ba da doom, ba da doom, which sounds really, really nice and you can orchestrate those accents as always. So let me show you that outside of a groove and I'll chuck in a groove. And now here it is with a groove. So if you like this lesson, please do hit subscribe, please share it with your friends, please try it, tag me in a video, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care.